Hey makers this is Thruvin and in this episode I come up with another interesting power effects function In this episode we are going to talk about remove and remove if function in power effects we will talk about the main difference between these two functions so let's get started one more important announcement at the end of this session we will play one quiz and one lucky winner will get a certificate of appreciation as well as shout out from my channel so keep answering in the comment section also if you haven't followed me on instagram and twitter so far do follow me on my twitter and instagram account the ids are available here or maybe in the description box so without further delay let's get started and talk about remove and remove if function in power effects here i am on my machine and here i have opened one power apps now let's try to understand the different concept of remove and remove if function First of all let me talk about what is the real purpose of remove function so remove function is something which will remove a specific record or records from the given data source or given collection or given table now let me demonstrate that to you with the practical example so let's say for an example here i have sample data like this this is the ice cream collection which i have created so the collection is looking like this So this is one of the static collection where I have added different items over here. Now, let's say for an example, I want to remove specific record from my table. Then I will use remove function. So let me demonstrate that to you. So first of all, on this button, let's use a power effects formula remove. So when you use remove function, basically the first argument is the collection or the data source that we want to pass so in my case i want to pass my ice cream collection and now you need to provide an item so which item you want to remove from your collection so in this case let's say i just wanted to remove the first item from my collection so what i will use is first and inside let's say i just wanted to use the collection name So what it will do is it will just remove the first item from my collection. Now let me taste this. So let me play and let me just click on this and you can see the first item has been removed. Now remove function is also remove multiple items. So to remove the multiple items you need to press comma and you need to provide the second item. So let's say for an example I want to remove the item a uh, last item so what i will use is last and inside that i will use my collection name ice cream and what it will do is it will remove first and last item from my collection so two items will be removed from here so you can pass n number of items by specifying the comma over here right now let me just is this so over here you can see we have number 2 and number 6 so this is the first and this is the last item now so let me press alter plus click and you can see both the record has been removed successfully so in remove function basically you need to provide the entire item in order to remove that record from your collection so remember that thing now let me just create my collection again so i have all the records now and now let me demonstrate one more item so let's say for an example in remove function let's say this chocolate ice flavor ice cream is repeated two times so it is duplicated twice in the same collection now whenever i remove this particular chocolate item it should remove all the duplicate values from this particular collection so how can i do that for that as well remove function is useful and over that you need to pass one optional parameter so let me talk about that so you simply need to use remove you need to provide the name of your collection which is ice cream you want to remove first item so first of ice cream and now let's say you want to remove 
all the duplicate values for the first item so you need to press comma and after that you need to use all so what it will do is it will check if the same chocolate ice cream with this entire row is duplicated anywhere from the data source it will remove all those records now let's test this so i used all over here and now i will click on this button so let's say here one and one these two items are duplicated i am removing only first item but it will remove this duplicate value as well from this particular table so now let me just click on that and here we are the duplicate item is removed successfully right now let me just reinitialize my collection and now let me show you one more thing let's say for an example sometimes we have a requirement we need to remove all the records from our collection so at that time what we need to do is we simply need to use remove function and after that we need to use our collection name and then we need to provide the entire source which is my collection again and then we need to use all so what it will do is it will remove all the record from this particular collection right and now let me taste this so i'm clicking on this button and you can see this entire collection is cleared out so these are the different flavors of remove function so so far we have discussed about three flavors one is removing specific record or multiple records or uh, let's say if you want to remove the duplicate records and let's say if you want to remove all the records right so these are the flavors of remove function now with the remove function we have one limitation that let's say for an example i want to remove any specific record based on the conditions like let's say i want to remove all the records for which the quantity is greater than 300 or let's say i want to remove the specific record where id is equal to 5 or id is equal to 6 so this type of condition i cannot apply with the remove function for that i need to use remove if function now let me demonstrate that to you over here so just let me just add one more function over here so my requirement is something where i just wanted to remove all the records for which the quantity are greater than or equal to 300 so for that what i need to do here is i simply need to use remove if function so remove if and inside that you need to pass the first parameter as your collection which is my ice cream collection and then you need to add the condition so i want to add quantity is greater than or equal to 300 now let's just complete that and let's taste that so for that i will remove this number three and number six so now let me click on that button and let's see so here we are both the items has been removed successfully now with the remove if function you can also remove all the items from your table so let me just initialize my collection again and now let's check how we can remove all the record using remove if function so for that you simply need to use remove if and after that you need to provide name of your collection and then in condition you simply need to pass true and what it will do is it will remove all the records from your collection so let me hit enter and here we are all the record has been removed successfully so with this i have covered all the flavors of remove and remove if function so if i summarize everything in remove function basically you need to provide the entire item which you want to remove while in case of remove if you can add the conditional statement for the remove function now it's time for quiz you need to provide the answer of these questions in the comment section only and one lucky winner will get a certificate of appreciation from my end as well as shout out from my instagram page now let's check the quiz question the very first question is I want to remove all the copies of this highlighted record which is the correct formula so you can see this is the table and here i have a chocolate record and same duplicate record i have here now i want to remove these two records from this particular table then which of the formula i will use you can see this formula on your screen so you just need to provide the correct answer over here now the second question is 
you need to observe the same table over here and now i want to remove all the records from above table then which formula i will use i will use remove with this formula remove if with this formula i can use both of this formula or none of this you need to provide the correct answer in the comment section keep answering and post your answer in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel if you are looking for any training or consultancy this is the website if you want to follow me on all my social media handles this is the link and don't forget to follow me on my twitter and instagram account if you are interested for different audio podcasts this is the podcast channel and if you are interested for short content as well as hindi content on power platform this is the dedicated channel subscribe that channel and show your love over here as well with this this is ruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye